Hey guys, welcome to Living in New Hampshire. My name's Cody and I'm a local real estate agent with eXp. In today's video, we're gonna cover the top things to know before moving to New Hampshire in 2023. Over the past few years, the country has seen a large migration from colder states to areas with warm weather year-round. Places like Florida, Texas, and Arizona experienced a massive influx of new residents. Many of these people leaving areas in the Midwest and Northeast, which begs the question whether climate is the most important factor when choosing a place to live. If you were to talk to someone living in the Northeast, they usually do so because of the variety of seasons and beautiful nature. This is the very reason so many people choose to call New Hampshire home, although with any state there's always pros and cons of living there. That's why in today's video, we're going to cover the top things you should know before moving to New Hampshire in 2020. Starting off with an issue that's affecting many states across the country, and that's the increasing home prices, more specifically home price to income ratio. While New Hampshire wasn't among the least affordable states, the fact that the median home price in the Granite State is a staggering $445,000, while the per capita income is only $43,000, explains why so many young adults remain renters. If that wasn't bad enough, many homeowners across the state experienced a spike in their electric bill during the summer of 2022. Some areas nearly doubling, resulting in bills up to $70 higher per month. Not to mention the cost of other utilities, especially during the winter months when oil and propane are at high demand. While New Hampshire has no state income or sales tax, it's important to factor in property taxes if you plan on purchasing a home. Seeing as New Hampshire ranks among the top three states in the country with a property tax rate of almost 2%, this means the average annual property tax paid on a $443,000 home would be nearly $8,700. Now that we've covered a lot of the costs associated with living in the Granite State, the next thing to know is that much of New Hampshire is very rural outside of the major cities. While it's generally a pro for most people moving here, it can be a surprise for some visiting the state for the first time. This also leads into the next two points pertaining to the infrastructure. The first being the freeway system. Aside from Interstate 89, 93, and 95, the rest of the state consists of primarily two-lane roads which can make it difficult to travel in certain parts of the state during rush hour. The second thing to keep in mind is that New Hampshire caters to those that enjoy outdoor activities. While certain areas are continuing to develop more shopping and entertainment options, it can be tough for someone who's a homebody, especially during the winter months. Regardless of where you live, making new friends can be tough, although it can be more challenging in New Hampshire due to the overall personality type of most residents. It really depends what type of person you are and whether you're looking for a community or private living environment. The final thing to know about living in New Hampshire shouldn't come as a surprise, seeing as it's part of New England and that's the climate. As a result, winters can be extremely cold and summers are usually hot and humid. Although it depends what you're comparing it to, for someone moving from Florida, the summers will likely be very comfortable compared to a person moving from Arizona. And that wraps up the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. And as always, if you're thinking about moving to New Hampshire or you just have any questions, I'll leave my contact info in the description below. Thanks for watching.